World Health Organization experts have visited a Chinese laboratory on their hunt for the origins of COVID-19. The investigators left the Wuhan Institute of Virology earlier Wednesday. This lab was at the center of controversy after the Trump administration claimed the virus originated there, an accusation the Chinese deny and global intelligence agencies say is highly unlikely. Well, CNN's Stephen Jiang is following the story for us from Beijing. He joins us now live. Good to see you, Stephen. So the whole world, of course, wants to know the origins of this uh, coronavirus. So when will we know more, do you think? And uh, I mean, the whole point of this is to avoid it happening again, isn't it? That's right, Rosemary. And that kind of questions is exactly why this stop these experts made on Wednesday was so important, because, as you mentioned, the Wuhan Institute of Virology was made famous by these uh, Trump officials who alleged without much concrete evidence that the COVID virus leaked from the labs in its facility. The virus started transmitting somewhere in September, October in Wuhan. September, October. That's my own view. It's an only opinion. I'm allowed to have opinions now. You know, I am of the point of view that I still think the most likely uh, etiology of this pathogen in Wuhan was a, from a laboratory, um, you know, escaped. Uh, the other people don't believe that. That's fine. Science will eventually figure it out. It's not unusual for respiratory pathogens that are being worked on in a laboratory to infect a laboratory worker. It is also not unusual for that type of research to be occurring in Wuhan. The city is a widely known center for viral studies in China including the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which has experimented extensively with bat coronaviruses. It is a remarkable conversation I, I feel like we're having here because you are the former CDC director and you were the director at the time this was all happening. For the first time, the former CDC director is stating publicly that he believes this pandemic started months earlier than we knew and that it originated not at a wet market, but inside a lab in China. These are two significant things to say, Dr. Redfield. And that's not implying any intentionality. You know, it's my opinion, right? But I am a virologist. I have spent my life in virology. I do not believe this somehow came from a bat to a human. And at that moment in time, the virus that came to the human became one of the most infectious viruses that we know in humanity for human to human transmission. You know, I, I, I hate to say this, but because I think a World Health Organization is such an important entity. And, you know, you, you think, OK, I'm creating a society on planet Earth and I'm worried about these viral sort of pandemics that might occur. Let's create a huge organization that, that determines health for the world. The World Health Organization. That's been mm. to, it, it makes perfect sense. The problem right now is I do think that, that I, I do question how independent they're able to act. Um, even with this most recent investigation, China had a lot of say in terms of who was actually going to be on that investigative committee. And it's, it's, um, I talked to people who, who actually went to China. They were primarily relegated to a hotel in Wuhan. So they're in Wuhan, but they're not really in, in parts of the, the, the country where they could you know, make more accurate determinations about what happened here. So we may never really know. Um, it, it's possible. Now they're saying they're gonna go to these areas where the bat caves are and check for antibodies and people that live in those areas. But you know, look, it's 15 months into things. They may have antibodies for totally different reasons now. You know? So it, I, I, we, we may never know for sure. And I think, you know, I think as every doctor in the documentary said, China has not, has not been forthright uh, historically. And now there's increasing evidence that they were not forthright now as well. They would rather this theory not, not be validated. 